Knowing how to introduce a dog and a cat to each other properly is essential if we are thinking of having them under the same roof. However, we need to bear in mind that not all cases will follow the same guidelines. The personality of the individual animals, their previous education, their formative experience and the specific environment will all play a part. Here at Animal Wise, we'll show you the best way to introduce a cat and a dog for the first time. Although some breeds are stereotypically more predisposed to sociability, any animal which is not given an adequate amount of socialisation when they are a puppy or kitten, especially in terms of coexisting with others, can have problems in their adult stage. Fear, aggression or other behavioural problems may appear. In these cases you should contact a veterinarian specialised in ethology to offer the best guidelines for your specific situation. Otherwise, it's likely a healthy coexistence will never happen and it can make both or either animal chronically stressed or anxious. Likewise, we also need to consider the character of each animal we want to adopt so we can judge if they're a potential good fit. Even if both animals are correctly socialised, we need to do all we can to ensure a positive association takes place. When cats feel threatened, they tend to seek refuge in high places. For this reason, a scratching tree, shelves, catwalks or a wall bed are excellent ways to help our cat know they have somewhere to hide when they feel overwhelmed. As for the dog, we should also look for a nest style bed for them to do the same. It's also very important that the newcomer has everything they need, such as a food bowl, water fountain, litter tray and everything else. Some professionals make progressive presentations by using the natural scent of both animals before they even meet. They let each animal stay in their own room, then they exchange blankets or other objects from the room so the animals can get used to each other's smell. This means when they do meet, they already have some familiarity. The separate rooms also allow for a place to seek refuge after the introduction. Not all specialists agree with this method, but all can concur that this period of separation shouldn't last too long. We need to create a relaxed atmosphere free of shouting, loud noises and any stressful elements. Once our new dog or cat arrives, they will need to have some time on their own to get used to their new environment. In these cases, synthetic pheromones may work for some to help both dogs and cats feel more relaxed, secure and generally promote their well-being. The introduction can produce many different outcomes. Some cats are curious and eager to interact, while others may recoil in shock when they see another animal enter their home. Dogs are just the same. Some may want to go up and sniff the newcomer, others may be reluctant to make contact. Whatever happens, don't force the situation, but let each animal express themselves naturally and positively reinforce any healthy interaction. Especially if the initial presentation doesn't go well, it's important to ensure you're always there during their interactions. Don't force the situation and ensure the two animals can go back to their own safe zones afterwards. Although the animals may snarl or swipe at each other at the beginning, it's essential to avoid shouting or punishment. The objective is to positively reinforce good behaviour, so using a gentle voice, reassuring petting and treats for both animals will show them that getting along will be best for both of them. They will then associate each other's presence with positivity and will hopefully become friends. Ensuring they both have everything they need in terms of food, water, toys and anything else will also help reduce the possibility of conflict. You need to remember that the adaptation time is variable and can range from almost immediate to several months. Patience is therefore necessary. Even with well socialised animals and the above steps correctly followed, problems getting along can occur. Aggression, fear or anxiety are behavioural problems which shouldn't be overlooked and they can exacerbate if they are not addressed. We advise you seek the advice of a vet, ethologist or a dog or cat trainer. We also recommend using professionals who use positive methods. We're not in favour of education which causes stress in the animals, as even if they work initially, they can lead to worsening behavioural problems down the line. 
Now that you know how to introduce a dog and a cat to each other for the first time, you can try to use these methods for your own animals. If you have any experiences of doing this in the past, please share them in the comments below. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. We'll see you next time.